every four years, Nigerians are overwhelmed with the number of posters that spring up every day during elections. Even newly constructed and renovated public facilities are not spared. The general elections might have come and gone, but in the next 1,465 days or more, there's going to be another major one. But before then, anyone or government serious about making a remarkable impact and changing and reforming the normal order should have started by now. If we are indeed serious about facility management and the aesthetic status of the environment, pasting of posters and public and private structures should have been a thing of the past in 2019. Although a number of arguments support that some of these advertisements make an impression on voters on how their votes will swing, but all of these can be executed without defacing every available blank public space. In some other countries, these paper posters have given way to yard signs, lawn signs, plastic signboards, lampposts, and more creative symbols that are easily removable and can never disfigure and vandalize buildings and infrastructure erected with taxpayers' money. In order to look accommodating, some governments agree to these pastings by all political parties and agreeing to foot the bill of a cleanup quadrennially. There are always better ways of judiciously using taxpayers' money when these pastings could have been avoided and prevented in the first place. The posters keep springing up from right, left and centre, defacing public facilities. And this is not just about political campaigns. Advertisers of goods and services are also culprits. The last election witnessed some creative forms of advertisements which can be sustained and capable of phasing out those ones, defacing all the infrastructure around. It is hoped that as citizens and governments working towards a better Nigeria, we can begin to play our parts by being custodians of the various infrastructure around us, by preventing the disfiguring, defacing, deforming and total disregard of collective property. Adetola Coyote. Lagos Television News.